Arsenal and Chelsea, who took part in the very first Football League First Division match between two London clubs. That was back in 1907 in front of 65,000. They're about to meet here at the Emirates. I'm Derek Ray on the gantry, and Stuart Robson is next to me. Stuart, this ought to be special. Well, it should be, Derek. It's a rivalry that's really grown in recent times, but one that has provided some excellent games. Let's hope it doesn't disappoint today. And so the starting 11 for Arsenal. Aaron Ramsdale as the goalkeeper. Granit Xhaka plays alongside Martin Odegaard in central midfield. And the main striker here is Edward Nketiah. Can he play it in? Havertz. Can he open them up here? Credit to them for winning back possession. And a look at the Chelsea starting 11. Edouard Mendy starts in goal. As Billy Quetta starts alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. And Goro Conte starts alongside Mateo Kovacic in central midfield. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very Derek, They must finish here. moment defensively Kai Havertz on to Werner attacking possibilities for Chelsea but they dealt with the threat first Tommy Yasu Erdogan, Bukayo Saka. And they find a gap in the defence. Saka. Is it going to be Granit Xhaka? Still a chance. He's blocked it. Timo Werner. And Kai Havertz. Werner. And now Havertz. And Chelsea win the corner. And now the delivery. Well, it has come to nothing. Marcos Alonso. It's with Marcos Alonso. Werner. Will it lead to the goal that puts them ahead? Cuts it back. It has to be, surely. And there it is, the opening goal, 1-0, and they'll feel they deserve it. Well, let's take another look, and it's not good enough defensively. They're slow to react, don't get tight enough, and don't deal with the situation. And there's the outcome. On they go again, and Arsenal know they need to wipe out that last goal. Granit Xhaka. He's going forward well here. Space and time for the cross. Albert Sambi Lokonga. Nuno Tavares. Intercepting it intelligently. Kai Havertz. And can they prize them open now? Mount. Can he take advantage? Terrific save. Well, that's a top-class save. He read it so well.
Let's see about the delivery. And a no-nonsense clearance. Mount. Oh, he's given it away. Well, here we are, moving close to half-time, and Arsenal chasing the game. Stuart, what have you made of their performance to this point? Well, it's been a tight first half so far, but they haven't quite shown enough guile in the attacking third. If, however, they can be more dynamic in the 1v1 situations... Oh, hang on, Stuart, it's a chance! Teammate in support. Really sound goalkeeping. Well, that had to be a goal, didn't it? What a stop that is. Well, the crowd are doing their bit. Can they find the equaliser here? Played over, and the corner too close to the goalkeeper that time. Oh, and a perfect ball now. How about this? Well, possibilities inside the box. It's there for him, and a goal it is. They lead by two now. Fully deserved. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Goal for so 2-0 now. And if you're wondering about added time, two minutes it'll be. Options in the middle. Martin Odegaard. Determined block. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is... Second half underway here, and Arsenal quite simply need to lift themselves. Bukayo Saka. It's with Erdogan. Granit Xhaka. Gabriel Martinelli. Well, he's given us away. Mateo Kovacic, Timo Werner. Werner. Strong but fair tackle. Kai Havertz. It's got to be! Oh, brilliant goalkeeping. Lokonga. And Ketia has it. Albert Sambi Lokonga. Just looking for the right moment for that final pass. Takes the shot. Superb block. And continues his run. Xhaka. Xhaka with it. Martin Odegaard. Xhaka. Tomiyasu. It needs an accurate cross. Xhaka. Well, showing excellent judgment to intercept. Well, as those stats show us, Chelsea haven't controlled the possession of the game. But when they have won it back in midfield areas, their counter-attacking has been excellent. They'll be happy with the way the game's going at the moment. 
Great strong tackle. Throw in forthcoming. Well, they've decided to make a change. Well, what on earth happened there? And a chance to whip it in here. That battle won by Granit Xhaka. Martin Odegaard. Xhaka with it. It's with Odegaard. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Twenty minutes to go. Mount. Showing patience as well as persistence in the build-up. But then the commentator's curse comes into play. It's a weighted pass. He might be able to carve something out. Oh, magnificent reaction. Well, these fans can sense an opportunity here. They need to make the most of this corner. Now, opting for the short corner. Good looking sequence. Pepe. Alert defending. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Outrageously skillful. He's in with a chance. And it's there for him. Well, he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Well, nearing the end of this one, and Arsenal a long way from their best. Well, I think they've been a bit unlucky today. They certainly haven't been two goals worse than their opponents. But in key moments, they've just been found wanting, particularly defensively. He cuts it back. Pepe. Could pull one back here. Oh, incredible save, and he snuffed out the danger. Substitution for Chelsea. Coming off the pitch, number 29, Kai Havertz. Coming onto the pitch. And a short corner, let's see. Dangerous looking attack. And Kessia. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Martinelli. It's with Erdogan. Now the stoppage time situation. One minute here. Might really be able to trouble them here. Nketia. So the referee's whistle means full time, and it goes into the books as a defeat for Arsenal. Well, Derek, they were certainly off the pace today. Beaten to the ball in too many key areas. They need to refocus now and perform better next time out. Well, one thing we often say about Kai Havertz is that he's so very hard to silence, and that was the case in this game. Sum up his contribution for us. Well, it's a good performance. He worked hard, played well, and scored a goal. And his team won. What more could you ask for?